Hi, my name is Calista. I live in my car and these are 10 things that I would like to talk to you about. Me living in the car, I'm 329 days in at this current moment and I have 10 topics for you specifically about this life and this might actually help new car dollars. So um, the first thing on there is sleeping and adjusting. All right, so I spent the first uh, month trying to sleep out of the trunk and I realized like the area was just too small for my hips. So then I slept in the front seat for a month and then I changed out, took the seats out of the passenger side and put a bed here. I actually have a bed build posted about that. I'll post another one if you guys need it. And basically has changed my entire perspective about sleeping in a car. I went from crying every day for two months to now finally sleeping comfortably. Um, also have uh, winterized the car because we're getting back into winter. It's November now, back to where we started almost. Um, just another month and basically what I had to do was I had put my um, blankets from last winter in the topper and I had left them up there and they got dirty because they're gonna naturally get dirty and stinky and smelly being in a topper of condensation hot cold hot cold so basically I had to get them out and wash them but before that I was stuck in Tennessee and it was 20 degrees it was 19 degrees so overnight just random you know chill I think it was like it was warm for a minute and then it got cold so i had to get out so i got my battery in the spring right and when i got my battery walmart had a uh, their little heating blankets on sale so i went and got a heating blanket from there and it was amazing it helped me out so much because i was like i didn't have the money to go wash those yet it, it cost me 40 bucks to go wash my heating blankets i mean not my heating blankets to go wash my blankets to put them back on my bed so there's that um out of the way and I think that a lot of new card bowlers make the mistake of thinking they could do this without upgrading their bed first. So you need to upgrade your bed. Now that I have winterized my bed and I have all my blankets, I can go into temperatures of zero degrees and still sleep like a baby without my heating blanket. So I put that away. I want to utilize my battery for other things like charging my phone when I need to. Um, everything, I don't have solar panel. I had solar panels for a minute and then they broke. So um, I need new solar panels. Um, so there's that. Um, I also want to talk about the cat. I came into this with a cat. You guys know I came into this with Rukia. The Rukia Chronicles there for a minute. Um, if you guys were watching my other social medias, I know I haven't posted them here. Now I'm afraid to post them here because she's not here anymore. I had rehomed her into a home and she was there for about a month and then I had to rehome her again. Uh, she was not adjusting so now she's in a very happy home we had her for about four months guys and then for about a couple weeks in between the second and third or the first and second home she's very happy she's very healthy and she's getting fat she absolutely like adores her pet mates which is a dog and a cat and she sleeps with her new owners at nighttime so there's that um, one of the next things is like adjusting to cooking and food. Originally I had planned everything out really thoroughly and was cooking at the parks. I found it hard to cook in the cold. Um, so then I got my Hot Logic lunchbox and I was door dashing a lot. So I was able to use that and that broke. So I do have that now again for the car, but I need one for the office. So if anybody wants to help me out, I do have information to support in, um, in the information details description below um so now the thing is like i still do do the cooking with the cooking stove i have all my materials still under my bed now with all my kitchenware and i go to the park and cook and like i said now i have my hot logic again so i can cook with that which really helps i can cook raw chicken and things like that but i don't have my cooler set up again because i took that down it was just so, too expensive getting ice so been sticking to like stable shelf foods and then buying food only weekly so I'm not keeping a lot of food in the car I had a low-key end problem over the summer because their queen was trapped on my topper when I was touching a tree I was touching the ground so that happened if you hadn't seen the short yet I removed her and thus they were gone um, I did spray the car down and stuff so there's that as well um, and then so I have like a list over here is why I'm looking so the next one was like has been like money management money management has been like thoroughly hard um it has been like because work the work that I do is like very stable and then unstable suddenly so um and I've had a lot of unexpected bills I've had to do so as long as I keep a stable job, I'm fine. I've been able to pay off an extreme amount of debt. I've been able to do a lot of things, but my goals right now is really just like getting the car paid off and getting 
all of my debts in order. It's been like actually a little harder than I expected being in the car because I, I don't know, it's just been a little harder. Um, but I'm really happy. Like it took me a long time. Like I feel like the first two and a half months, two months, two and a half months, I was really freaking sad all the time. I was depressed. I wasn't happy. I was trying to figure out what it's going to do with my life. And I still don't really know my purpose, but I count happy every single day and socks. <laughs> I look for people's socks. So that's a big topic right there. I'm kind of all over the place with these topics. So I was going to go with this 10 topics, but this is obviously more than 10 topics. Um, and the biggest one, it's like happy, finding happy. Finding happy came when I found how to sleep in the car. Um, that became a lot easier when I was able to pull my legs up. Um, I had issues with my legs and then there was drainage and they were like, everything's fine. And they fixed it. And then something had popped behind my knee. And then turn around two weeks after that, I had deep, deep thumb, thrombosis, deep vein thrombosis where they had to pull a clot at the back of my knee. So think about that uh, because I didn't keep my knees elevated. But when I got my bed, all of those things were solved by propping my, my legs up every day and reducing the swelling in my legs. I wasn't feeling like shit anymore. I was feeling pretty good. Um, I don't know if I'm allowed to cuss or anything like that on here for monetization purposes later on, but here we are. Anyways, um, the thing is like we're in a winter break right now. We're talking about winter. So let's talk about condensation. A lot of mornings I'll wake up and I'll have to actually like learn this from Jose on um, TikTok. I take a scraper. I don't know if I have it here in the front, but you just basically take like one of those Dollar Tree scrapers and you scrape the inside of your car with a towel and you keep the towel at the bottom. So you're like cleaning your windows almost every day um, and then scraping off the condensation. When it is frozen, you just hot blast it in the car and then pull that condensation right off of there and then put it on a towel and then hang the towel up over top of your dashboard and it'll eventually um, heat up um, in the winter has helped because I have the reflectors now um, and the reflectors kept me cool in the summertime. The reflectors kept me cool on the silver side and then the black side out, it actually heats the car about 20 degrees when all the, the reflectors are turned to the black side out. It also gives me a little bit more privacy. I feel like it looks like a tint from the outside. It's, when I put matte paper over it really helps. Um, the reflective side kind of points me out like hey there's someone in here uh so that's something to think about if you're making your window covers um so i i love that though because i like in the winter time it's like 20 degrees i'm freezing and then at about if i sleep in a little bit about eight o'clock i hear the the paper crinkling right not the paper the, the reflectors are crinkling on the black side out and the car is warming up like the car warms up to like 40 50 degrees sometimes it actually heats up far, farther than that and then I'm just sitting here like oh it's so nice and cozy in here and, and I have to get out from under the covers because I'm so warm um I have the covers specifically layered for the different temperatures so I can get under each certain uh blanket is made for a certain temperature um so the colder it gets the thicker the blanket is underneath um I hope that makes sense because I don't want to die the layering process I hit my car the layering process is so so important for that but back to um winterization and sleeping in the winter um I do have something like cover my face and stuff like that so it helps me tolerate breathing in the winter time that helps so 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 much um and right now with the job that I'm doing I'm doing a travel job that takes a break from November in December and half of January so I've already gotten my next job for January as long as um, as long as things go well with my surgeries. So, and if this thing's surgery, I might still have to be in the car during recovery. So we're looking at that right now. Being in the car has changed my life. Being in the car has been so, so mentally draining and then spiritually healing and humbling because of like not having all the stuff. Everything I own is in this car. So if someone steals a car, I'm screwed. Yes. But now I have money in the bank account at least to save and then get a new car if all that happens. And now this has also taught me that no matter what, I can still start from scratch no matter what happens. Um, I know the steps to take and that is literally just do it. Just go do what you need to do and keep yourself afloat keep your finances in order stay organized take care of yourself stay clean i mean 
I shower every day at the Planet Fitness. Um, and if I don't do that, I have my showers posted about how I do a bottle bath in my shorts. Um, and it's very important um, to take care of yourself in all these times. If you guys see, I know you can kind of see my Gable chin a little bit coming back, but I have lost over 60 pounds in this experience from start to finish, uh, about 64 pounds now. Um, I don't know if you remember my videos from the start. I probably don't look too much different because of the angles of this new uh, iPhone. <laughs> it sucks, but uh, it is what it is. Um, I have found that I am able to do life, okay? To do the thing. I am prioritizing myself for the first time. I am doing everything that I can to work on my finances, to work on my goals, to work towards my goals, finding my passions again. And it has been such a humbling experience. So guys, if you want more videos like this, please let me know.